So today's class is the fourth class in our series of four classes. And it just happens to be quite auspicious that this class also falls on a full moon. So the moon is at its zenith this morning at half eight, so right in the middle of our class. And this fourth class, um, the, it's called Settle Into Stillness and Silence. And so we're the first one we really worked on detoxification and activation. And we did a powerful breath practice. With the, one on, the first one was breath of fire through the open mouth. The second one we worked on, um, yes, cultivating vitality, energy into the navel center. And we did uh, immunity breath, breath of fire through the left nostril. And then last week we really worked on resilience, right? So we did all those very challenging practices where we had to stay in there. And then we had the, um, the eight sniffs breathing with the liberated heart. And so today's is the last class in the series. And with this one, we have um, a lot of powerful different breath techniques that really bring us into a place of stillness. And then we're going to do the breath of light. So this practice I taught at the winter solstice. So we bring our attention up to the seven energy centers as we breathe in seven sniffs. And so full moon means that with a full moon often, whatever you engage in is accentuated. And so it's, it's very powerful that we're doing a practice that really brings us into silence and stillness and that that will be accentuated with the full moon. And we're going to um, start with some full moon salutations, which have all got a forward folding element to them. And so it's all about bringing the energy to the head. And after this class at nine o'clock, if you wish to stay on, I'm going to do the 11 minutes chanting of the Antarnad, which is the chant we do for the full moon. And we move our hands up and then we move our hands down as we're chanting for 11 minutes. So that's going to be straight after the class. So you can kick off at nine or you can stay on for those 11 minutes. And so let's just take a moment. So auspicious to be practicing as the moon comes into its full 100%. This is a full moon in Virgo. And Virgo is an, has a real organizing um, energy to it. And so it's a great time for spring cleaning and organizing and goal setting. But let's really set our intention here for this hour to harness our mind to be present. So we get the benefit of our presence, of our attention, of our focus. Very nice. So let's come around to all fours. And start with some cat cow. So hands beneath your shoulders, knees beneath your hips, inhale, arch. Exhale, round. And just enjoy moving your body. Your attention with your breath. With the movement. And it's that act of keep coming back to the presence. Our mind wanders, but we keep coming back. And when you're ready, exhale, tuck your toes and push into down dog. Bend your right knee and push with your right hand, your left foot. And then switch, bend your left knee and push with your left hand, right foot. And then bend both knees. We press with your hands, hinge so the hips lift up to the sky and then carefully straighten your knees and push your heels back towards the floor. Releasing the head. Walk your hands just halfway back. And here, firm the legs, really stretching the back of the legs and maybe sway a little bit side to side. 
and then walk the hands all the way back. So you're folding forward at the back of your mat. Hands to your hips, inhale, come all the way up. And let's step to the top of the mat. So we'll do the first couple of rounds slowly as we get into the swing of it, and then we go with the breath. So full moon salutation, standing at the top of your mat. Inhale, reach up. And then as you exhale, lean to your right. Inhale, back to center. And now step your right foot wide on your mat and come into goddess pose. Arms out to the sides. Take a full inhale here. And as you exhale, straighten your legs, turn your left toes in, right toes out, arms straight. Inhale, exhale into triangle. So right arm reaches, right arm comes down, left arm up. Take a full inhale here. And then exhale here. And full inhale. And then exhale, left hand comes down and now fold over that front leg, that right leg. Inhaling. And exhaling, right hip back, left hip forward. And now drop your left knee, so the low lunge. Inhale, reach up. Stay here as you exhale, sink in. Inhale, reach. And now exhale, hands down inside your foot. And you're going to come into Spider-Man. So hands now walk to the left side of the foot. Left foot rather, and the right leg straightens. That's it. Inhale. And then exhale, turn. So you have a low lunge now at the top of your mat. Right knee down. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, come into that forward fold over your straight leg. That's it. Stay here, inhale. And exhale. And now left hand to the foot or the shin. And the right arm reaches up, so triangle pose. Really nice. From here, come into goddess pose. So arms out to the side, bend the knees, lift the chest. And then step back to the top of your mat. We go to the other side, so inhale, reach up. Exhale, lean to your left. Inhale to center. Exhale, left foot steps wide, come into goddess pose. Inhale here, and then exhale, triangle, left sides, left hand to left foot, right arm up. Take a full inhale, and then exhale, right hand down, fold over the front leg, straight leg, as much as is comfortable. Inhaling, and then exhale, right knee down. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, hands down, walk the hands to the right foot, left leg is straight. And now come into a low lunge, so left knee down. That's it. Good job. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sink in. Hands down, straighten the front leg, walk the back foot in a little bit, fold. Full inhale. And exhale, right hand down, left hand triangle, lift and reach. And then from here, come into goddess pose. Take an inhale, and then exhale, steps to the top of your mat. Very good, let's go again, inhale, reach. Exhale, lean to the right. 
Inhale to center. Exhale, goddess, right foot steps out. Inhale here. Exhale, triangle, right foot, right hand down. Full inhale. Exhale, left hand down, forward fold over straight leg. Full inhale. Exhale, left knee down. Inhale, reach up. Stay here as you exhale, sink in. Hands either side of the front foot. Straighten that right leg. Hands now to the left foot. And the right leg is straight. Very nice. And now turn. Low lunge. Left foot forward. Right knee down. Inhale, reach. Stay here as you exhale. Hands down. Walk the right foot in a little bit. Straight leg fold. Full inhale. A long exhale. Left hand down. Right arm reaches up triangle pose. And exhale. Come up into goddess. Turn the toes out. Reach the arms. That's it. Full inhale. And then exhale. Steps to the top of your mat. Left side. Inhale. Reach. Exhale. Lean to your left. Inhale to center. No rush. Exhale. Left foot steps into goddess pose. Lift the chest. Take a full inhale here. And then exhale. Left leg straight for triangle pose. Reach in the right arm. And then exhale, right hand down, folding over the straight leg. Full inhale. And then exhale, right knee down. Low lunge, reaching up. Stay here as you exhale. Hands inside that front foot and then walk the hands to the right foot and straighten that left leg. Really nice. And now hands to the top of your mat in the low lunge, so left knee down. Inhale, reach up. Stay here as you exhale. Inhale. Exhaling, hands down. Straight legs fold over the front leg. Inhaling. And exhaling. Right hand down, left arm reaches up. Triangle, draw that right seat under. Inhale up into goddess pose, sink low. And then step to the top of your mat. Just keep going. Inhale, reach up, staying present. Exhaling, lean. Inhaling, center. Exhaling, goddess. Take an inhale here. Exhale, triangle, right hand down. Full inhale, exhale, fold over the front leg. Full inhale, exhale, drop your left knee. Inhale, reach. Stay here as you exhale. Reach as you inhale. And as you exhale, right hands down, and then walk to the left foot, straighten the right leg. Full inhale, and then exhale, low lunge, so right knee down. Inhale, reach. 
And then exhale, hands down, straight legs fold. Full inhale. And exhale, left hand down, right arm up. Inhale here. And then exhale, coming up. Come into goddess pose, inhale. And exhale, comes to the top of your mat. Left side, inhale, reach. Exhale, lean to the left. No rush, inhale, center. Exhale, goddess, left foot steps. Inhale here. Exhale, triangle, left hand down to left foot. Inhale, reach. And then exhale, right hand down, fold over your left foot. Inhale. And then exhale, draw up that right knee. Inhale, reach. And then exhale, hands down, come into hands at the right foot, left leg straight. Inhale. And now come into low lunge. So left knee down. That's it. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, straighten the front leg, straighten the back leg, fold over it. Inhale here. Exhale, right hand down, left arm up. Take an inhale. And then exhale into goddess pose. Inhale here. Exhale, steps to the top of your mat. Let's do one more round, right and left. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lean to your right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, in goddess pose. Inhale, here. Exhale, triangle, right hand to right foot. Inhale here. Exhale, fold over the front leg. Take a full inhale, draw that left hip forward. Exhale, left knee down. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, right hands down, and then walk them to the left foot, right leg straight. Turn, so you're in a low lunge. Inhale, reach up. Exhaling, fold over the straight leg. Take a full inhale. Draw the outer left hip in, left hand down, reaching up. Full inhale, and then exhale into goddess pose. Inhale here. Exhale, steps to the top of your mat. Left side, last round, inhale, reach. Exhale, lean to your left. Inhale to center. And exhale, goddess, left foot steps out. Sink low, open the knees. Inhale here. And then exhale, triangle, left hand down. Right arm up. Deep inhale. Exhale, fold over that front leg. Inhale here. And then exhale, right knee down. Low lunge, inhale, reach up. And exhale, hands down, walk them to the right foot, straighten the left leg. And then turn so your left knee is down for a low lunge. Inhale, reach up. 
And then exhale, fold over the straight leg. Inhale here. And long exhale. Right hand down, left arm reaches up. Come into goddess pose. And then steps at the top of your mat. Really nice. Let's come straight into a squat here. So feet wide. And come wherever is comfortable for you. For some, especially if you have tightness, it can be nice to put a cushion under your heels. And just come down low. Really nice. Elbows pushing against the inner thighs. Lift the chest. Close your eyes and breathe here. Drop in. Let's take a twist here. So right hand comes to the floor and it's pushing against the inside of the right knee. And then the left arm reaches. And you can leave the left hand on the knee if it feels too strong. Otherwise, the left arm reach. Full inhale. And exhale. Push that right hand against the knee and twist and open a bit more. One more deep inhale and exhaling twist. Really nice coming back to center. So now left hand on the inside of the left knee and right arm. If it's comfortable, reach it or leave it little settle on your right knee, whichever works. Inhale and exhaling twist. Inhale here and exhaling twist. Really nice. Both hands down and just back into your squat again for a moment. Really nice. And let's straighten the legs and fold forwards. Excellent. So let's come seated. And if you have a cushion, nice to sit on the cushion. We're going to come into this breathing practice now. So we're going to start with alternate nostril breath. I just want to <laughs> make sure everyone can hear me okay. Um, just going to check that the sound is all right. Sound is okay. I'm looking at you, Trish. The sound is okay at the mat, is it? Oh, thank you. That's all. Excellent. So coming seated, we're going to start with alternate nostril breath. And with this one, you can go as fast. Um, you can go like a breath of fire. So inhaling left, exhaling right. And you go at pace, like a breath of fire, or you go slowly. Okay, so I'll do the first round or two slowly and then add this pace. So inhaling left. And exhaling right. Inhaling left. And exhaling right. So keep at that pace or go like a breath of fire in left, out right. breath of fire you draw the navel in as you exhale and then you inhale to the left take a deep inhale to the left pause hold lift the pelvic floor 
be very still. And exhale. And we go straight to the other side. So fantastic for balancing hemispheres of the mind, which we'll be doing throughout this practice today. So let's start inhaling right, exhaling left. Exhaling left. And it's whichever you prefer, so you can continue slowly inhaling right. Exhaling left. Or you can join me where we'll go a bit faster and find the pace that works for you, okay? So the breath of fire pace that works for you. <laughs> A deep inhale through the right nostril. Pause, hold, lift the pelvic floor, relax the shoulders, eye gaze center of the forehead. And when you're ready to exhale, just take a moment and notice the effect. quality of your mind. And so we're doing lots of really powerful breathing this morning. Really keep your attention within. Keep coming back and being very focused. Full moon. Dropping into that inner space of silence. Okay. So this next one is beautiful. It's a spinal breath. And so as we inhale through the nose, we're going to open the chest. And then we exhale through the mouth and round. Inhale, open. Exhale to the mouth. That's full and deeper breath. Smooth, full breath. Every time we practice is different because we're different, influenced by our own cycles, the cycles of the moon, the time of the day, and where our own mind is at. 
And so some days it's harder to be present, to harness our mind. And those days we gotta be more patient. And so we know it's like a really steep hill. Every step counts. Take a deep inhale. Pause, hold the breath. You can let the hands down, lift up to the pelvic floor. And let's aim to hold the breath for about 20 seconds. Relax the shoulders, but no strain. You let go if you need to, no problem. Exhale. So we'll do the other half of this. Just kind of so now we inhale mouth as we open out. And we exhale nose. We inhale mouth. Exhale, nose. It's full deep breaths. So I don't claim to know an awful lot about the moons. I love being aware of where the cycle is at. But also like that idea that anything you do at the full moon is amplified. So this practice we're doing this morning, just dropping into stillness, it's deeper, it's more effective because it's amplified because we're doing it as the moon is full. Take a deep inhale. You can let the hands down, pause, hold, lift pelvic floor. And again, we'll hold for about 20 or 30 seconds. If you need to release at any time, exhaling, just sit very still. Dropping into the you within you. So the next one, you guys know now, there's always a few strange ones, right? <laughs> but this one is like we're bouncing a ball up and down. So we're working with our electric magnetic field here and it's a breath of fire. So the arms are stiff, bending at the elbows up and down. Unless you're on your menstrual cycle and then it's a long deep breath and just surrender to it. 
drop in and keep your attention, right? Really stay here with the practice. always referencing how science is now speaking more and more about the electromagnetic field, about electricity impulses. And so we're working with that here. So stay present, your attention is key, right? Where your attention goes, your energy flows. So stay present, stick with it, go in. Just 45 seconds left, stay with it. Don't let your mind wander. A deep inhale, leave the palms facing down. Pause, hold, squeeze, lift. Feel the energy from your hands down to the earth. Exhale, release, sit very still. It's amazing when you can feel the effect of all these different things we do. Creating the inner stillness, accessing our inner silence. Okay, so next one, very powerful inhale, reach arms, fingers are spread. We did a version of this last week. And then exhale, make fists and strike your ribs with your upper arms, okay? So really go for it.
Nearly there. Keep going. Inhale, reach up. Pause, hold, lift. Exhale, release all the way down. So maybe you can feel all that energy you're cultivating around the heart, throat. Let's come around to all fours. We'll move it towards the head. And so inhaling up. And as you exhale, bend the elbows and the head comes down. Inhale up and exhale down. Very interesting how the act of bowing draws energy from your heart towards the higher centers. And most all traditions have bowing as part of the spiritual practice. Lower mind bowing to your higher mind. Letting the ego mind be less dominant. And so have that sense of lower mind, which is often the dominant one, bowing to the higher mind. Really nice. And let's come around to sitting. And hands on your shoulders, inhaling left, lean to the left, and exhaling right. Close your eyes, and as you move, have your attention in the center of your brain. Inhale to center and exhale, release down. So we'll do an alternate nostril breath again. Any stage, right? You can move your legs or anything if you want to get more comfortable. So blocking your right nostril. Inhale to your left, long and deep. And then block your left nostril. Exhale, right. Inhaling right. And exhaling left. Inhaling left. Very focused. Exhaling right. Inhaling right. And exhaling left. Last round, inhaling left. Exhaling 
Exhaling right. Inhaling right. And exhaling left. Release the hands down, take an inhale through both. And exhale. Just take a moment here. Bring your attention down to your root, the base of your spine, pelvic floor area. So we're gonna do seven sniffs going through each of the different energy centers or chakras. And so let's start just by being aware of each of them. So notice your base of your spine, your root, and then just above it, the sacral area which is between the navel and the pubic bone. Lines up with the pelvis, the sacrum. And then you have your navel. Then your heart. Your throat. The third eye, the middle of the forehead between the two eyebrows. It's a sense of a place rather than being a specific spot. And then the crown of your head. And so what we're going to do is we'll take seven sniffs. And as we sniff, we go from the root, our awareness, our attention to the navel, to the sacrum, to the navel, to the heart, to the throat, the third eye, and then on the seventh sniff, we're gonna hold the breath just for three, four seconds. And as we hold the breath, I want you to visualize all this light inside in your mind and your brain. And then we'll exhale the air out and go all the way back down to the start. Okay, it's called the breath of light. I know for me, um, I've practiced it several times for periods of times. And I've always found it challenging to keep my attention and so if you find that hard, you are not alone, right? So with all of these breaths, we just, we just do our best. We do the as we are now. And over time, we, we develop more and more mastery. We don't give ourselves a hard time about it, okay? So we just do our best. And it's so important that we don't get agitated or frustrated with ourselves at any stage. We're doing great. So I've set the timer here and um, I'll guide us through. So sniffing in seven times. So sniff, root, sacrum, navel, heart, throat, third eye, crown of the head and hold light and bright through your whole center of your brain. And then exhale, the tension goes all the way down. So it's your attention is moving up along this energy channel. Okay, so again, inhaling. And hold. Visualize light brightness, and then exhale all the way down. You can have a light mula bond, so light lift of the pelvic floor throughout. And when you're holding your breath, squeeze a little more. So off we go.
stay in there. Training our minds, strengthening our nervous system. Our attention and our energy are matching, going in sync as we move our awareness up along the spinal column. See that brightness, the light, sense it in your whole brain. Nearly there. Just a few more rounds, stay with it. Face your resistance and soften, surrender. It's so powerful when we face our resistance. Our agitation, our impatience. That's how we cultivate our presence, our patience, our ability to then become master of ourselves. Just be present and just follow it and do it. Last round. So now take a deep breath in. Pause, hold, lift pelvic floor and see, sense, feel that light inside all around the head. Exhale, release. Be very still. So bring your awareness, your attention to that small pathway from the entrance of the nostrils, right up to the inner corners of the eyes, towards the center of the brain, and out again. And so follow that breath, follow that pathway, nostrils, inner corners of the eyes, third eye, center of the brain, and now keep your attention at those inner corners of your eyes and take a few breaths here focusing here
And now bring your attention to the middle of the forehead, third eye, inside the brain. Just take some breaths here. Aware of being aware. Dropping into that inner stillness and silence. And like a little pebble that you drop into a pond of still water, just drop the words, I am love. I am love. Really stay tuned in, perhaps a sense of expansiveness, deep feeling of stillness, just noticing what you are experiencing. And repeating occasionally, I am love. Just stay just a few seconds more. Dwell in this space. Imprint it into your physiology, memorize it. Accessing your higher mind. And really have that sense of the lower mind as bow to this higher mind. Bring your hands to prayer at your heart center. And bow to your heart. Hmm. Satnam, our true identity. It has been an unbelievable pleasure and honor teaching these four classes to you guys over these weeks. So auspicious that on the full moon, it's in the middle of the last one. So we'll do different kinds of classes for the month of March for now. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day.